Before you can start recording with Yuja, you'll need to download and install the Yuja Capture software on your computer. To start a recording, you'll need to go to one of your courses that contains a link to Yuja and click on it. Once you reach your Yuja account, click on the Create Recording button. In the alert that shows up, you can choose if you are recording from a PC or a Mac and click the Start button. Your computer may ask you an additional question about opening Yuja Software Capture, so click to open the software. This will launch the Yuja Software Capture on your computer. Let's check out the settings to make sure we are capturing the video the way we would like. Right away, you'll be able to see the audio and video sources that Yuja will be using while it records. On the left side is my computer's built-in web camera, and on the right side is my computer's screen. You can also see my audio level on the far right. This is important to note so that you can be sure the recording will pick up your audio. If you want to change these settings, we'll do so from the menu on the left side. If you expand the video options, you'll see that there are a few video source options as well as on-off buttons. If we look at the video source option for the first dropdown, it's set to my computer's built-in camera. I can change this if I'd prefer to use an external camera, such as a USB camera or a ceiling camera connected to a docking station. I can also choose if I'd like to have the webcam record me, or if I want only to record my screen by switching these video sources on or off. There's a spot to add a second video source as well. This might come in handy if you want to run a ceiling camera in addition to your computer camera and screen recording. It's a good idea to make sure you have both cameras connected to your computer before opening Yuja, or it might result in your software crashing. In this example, I'm going to only choose to use my webcam. Both cameras have advanced settings to change the quality it captures through your camera. The more you increase your quality settings, the larger your file will become and the longer it will take to upload. Ideal settings for using your webcam as an inset over a presentation in Yuja are 640 by 480 pixels with extra high quality at 24 frames per second. Using less frames will result in webcam video that is choppy. Next, we have our audio input settings. If you don't have an external microphone on your PC, choose the Microphone Array option. Since I have an external microphone, I'm going to choose it. Test to make sure the sound is working by tapping on your microphone and observing how the audio level reacts. If it doesn't seem to be reacting properly, you may need to switch your audio input settings by going to the Start menu and choosing Settings. Select System, go to Sound, and scroll down to the Input Settings to select your external mic. You can test to see if the microphone is connected to your computer by tapping on it and observing the audio level. When the audio is working properly, close your computer settings and return to Yuja Software Capture. If you need to record audio that comes from your computer, like a YouTube video for example, you'll need to set your second input source as internal audio. Since I don't need to record any audio coming from my computer, I'm going to change this back to off. Moving on, we have the screen capture settings. You can choose to turn off the screen capture and record only your webcam to create a talking head style video. However, if you're looking to create that type of video, we recommend recording with the camera app on a PC or QuickTime app on a Mac since Yuja creates poor quality video and audio when recording only your webcam. Getting back to the screen capture options, you may want to record an external display such as a projector or an XP pen display. Check out our video on how to set up an extended display on a PC if you need any help. In the Yuja software capture, click on the advanced settings, select custom display. You'll need to choose whether you want to work with the left display or the right display by leaving the check mark next to your desired display. If you're not sure if your extended display is on the left side or the right side, you can uncheck one of the boxes and see if the Yuja software capture shows the screen you'd like to record. If it's showing the incorrect screen, go back into your screen source advanced settings and reverse your selection. It's not recommended to select both screens and record, as this is visually overwhelming. Your students might not be able to follow your lecture by not knowing quite where to look in the final video. The last screen capture option is to select an area. 
This can be helpful if you only want to show a part of your screen and hide other information. To do this, click the Select Area button, and your screens will have a blue cast over the top. All you need to do is click and drag out the area you'd like to film for your video. Your selection will be shown by a blue outline box. Just be careful to remember that the video is only recording that area and to keep all important details of your video within that space. The last advanced settings to note for your screen capture relate to the quality of the video. Since screen capture is the main use of Yuja, I recommend keeping these settings in place. Keep the video quality extra high. Keep the output very large. Keep the resolution 1920 by 1080 and keep the bit rate at 1000 kilobytes per second. Hit save. There's also an annotation toolbar that allows you to draw, highlight, and erase on your screen while you record. The last few options allow you to live stream while you record by selecting your course. However, your students will only receive a notification for your live stream through Yuja, and there doesn't appear to be a way to notify them with a link to access the live stream before it starts. The very last option, called Profile, allows you to save your Yuja settings. This means that anytime you launch the Yuja software capture, you can select your profile and all of your desired audio, video, and screen capture settings will change from Yuja's default into what you need to get started on your recording, instead of having to go through all of these options that we've talked about one by one. It's a good idea to add a title to your video and a description. You can also choose where you would like to save your video within your Yuja account if you've pre-built any folders. If you don't have any specific folders ready to go, that's not a problem. It just means that the video will save to your My Media area within your Yuja account. If you are part of a course that utilizes the channel, go ahead and select that here. However, I'm going to clear my course channel selection. Once you have all of your settings in place, hit the start button. You'll get a countdown and then you'll be able to start recording. And when you're finished, hit the stop button and your video will automatically be sent to your Yuja account. I highly recommend doing a short 10 second test video just to make sure everything is working as planned before jumping into a full recording. A test recording might save you a ton of frustration and a broken heart later on. Depending on the size of your video, it could take a few minutes to an hour to complete the upload and render process in Yuja. Once your video is ready, you'll receive an email notification. From there, you're ready to share your video or add it into your course.